Imagine space tourism, where one day in the future, you hop on a ship and you fly way out into the deep vastness of space to go visit the rings of Saturn. The biggest problem you would have is communicating back with home base on Earth, because technically that can take months to send a message and receive a message back. However, imagine a quantum entangled communications device that would allow you to be able to communicate back with home base on Earth instantaneously bypassing the speed of light. Now also imagine the power of teleportation, the ability to take something like a solid object or even your own body and transport it from place to place through a system of quantum entangled teleportation devices that allows you to disappear in one location and reappear in another location, bypassing space and time, and of course, bypassing conventional transportation vehicles like cars, planes, trains, and rocket ships. This is what we're talking about today. We're talking about the power of quantum entanglement. So let's take a look at what is quantum entanglement? It's a phenomenon where two or more particles can be interconnected such that the state of one particle instantaneously influences the other particle regardless of distance. In other words, if I can take two particles and use a laser and do something called parabolic down conversion, I can get those two particles on the same frequency. If I had the ability to take one particle to the other end of the universe and keep one local to me, whatever I do to affect the one local to me, the other one will respond instantaneously. We now know that this can happen over not just one particle, but it can happen over many particles. Scientists are discovering that this phenomenon actually even happens inside the human brain and even within our own cells in our body. Scientists did an experiment where they extracted some cells from a human being and transported those cells 40 miles away. Now, when they were showing the person in the laboratory setting scenes of flowers, scenes of war-torn countries, whatever the emotional response of that person was, the cells 40 miles away will respond as if they were under that same influence or had that same experience, bypassing space and time. The cells in some intrinsic way were still connected to the person, even though they were a great distance away from each other. They still responded with full emotion, still connected. We're living in an energetic grid. And scientists discovered this like Einstein, where he called it spooky action at a distance. He discovered that particles can be entangled throughout the known universe and that when you affect one, you can affect the other, no matter the distance, instantaneously bypassing the speed of light. If you have an atom that's a spin rate up and another atom that's spin rate down, if you ping a photon off the spin rate up atom and make it go down, the other one on the other end of the universe will instantaneously spin rate up. So you can have this communication going on over vast distances. The reality of this actually kind of scared or spooked Einstein, hence him giving it the name spooky action at a distance. What this tells us is that everything in the known universe is connected. We're all connected on this invisible energetic grid that connects us and binds us together. That distance is an illusion. Space in some way is actually an illusion. Individuality is an illusion that we're all one and that at the very beginning of the universe, before it expanded, that connectedness that we had together while the, it was expanding, it never detached the actual energetic connection. And so we're energetically connected to everything. Scientists discovered that due to the double slit experiment that all matter actually exists as waves of potential prior to being collapsed into the illusion of solidity. That everything exists in superposition of one another. And particles exist in multiple states until they're actually measured. What does this mean? Well, in the double slit experiment, scientists created this tiny little box with microscopic slits in it, and they shot electrons through those slits. When they weren't looking in the box to see it happen in real time, the electrons would operate as waves of potentials and they would hit the back wall of the box, creating a wave pattern. When scientists decided to look and see exactly what was happening, 
the electrons were aware that they were being observed and collapsed themselves back into digital bits of information and went through the slits and made dots on the back wall. So what does this tell us? It tells us that the electrons themselves are aware. They are aware that they were being watched. That consciousness intrinsically is linked to everything in all matter throughout the known universe and that consciousness in some way collapses waves of potential, probable potential or superposition collapses into the illusion of solidity. Scientists also discovered something really crazy, that even our thoughts can be entangled with other energetic information that exists throughout the known universe. Through several experiments, they realized that some of the synapses were vanishing from our minds and then reappearing later on. And so they hypothesized that our thoughts are leaving and going to higher dimensions and then coming back. Or either that our thoughts were also entangling with information somewhere else. So through this method, we now understand that conscious entanglement actually can occur. So scientists took two people, put them in a laboratory setting in two different rooms. One man was blindfolded with a remote control in his hand for a video game no screen. The other person had no blindfold, did not have a remote control, but can see the actual game on the screen. The man that can see the game with no blindfold and no controller was able to control the hands remotely of the man that had the controller that was wearing a blindfold. Scientists were able to create the very first mind link or mind melt and quantum entangle consciousness between two individual people in separate areas and were able to allow this consciousness link to allow one person to remote control the other person's body parts to play the video game. This is how powerful quantum entanglement is. Now, if you're trying to figure out if we fully understand quantum entanglement, we really don't. In Bell's theorem, it proved that in classical physics, we can't really explain entanglement. We just know that it works and we know how to create the entanglement, but we really can't explain how the connection actually happens and what the connection is actually doing. What's being transmitted so fast that we can't detect how fast it's being transmitted. Entangled photons sent from a satellite represent a groundbreaking advancement in quantum communication, demonstrating the practical application of quantum entanglement over vast distances. The first thing they had to do was generate photons. So a satellite generated pairs of entangled photons using a process called spontaneous parametric downconversion. In this process, a high energy photon is passed through a special crystal, splitting it into two lower energy photons that are quantum entangled. The entangled photon pairs are then split with one photon sent to the ground station as the other photon is sent to a different ground station. These stations can be separated by hundreds or even thousands of kilometers. Each photon's quantum state has been polarized and is measured at the ground station. Because the photons are entangled, the measurement of one photon immediately determines the state of the other photon, regardless of distance. We've seen this being used with China's Messias satellite in 2017. The Messias satellite launched by China demonstrated quantum entanglement over a record-breaking distance of 1,200 kilometers. The satellite successfully transmitted entangled photons to two ground stations separated by this distance, confirming the viability of quantum entangled communication on a global scale. There are challenges, however, using this method. We know that photons can be scattered or absorbed when traveling through the Earth's atmosphere. To mitigate this, the satellite uses highly precise alignment and advanced optical systems to adjust to any atmospheric conditions. Synchronizing the measurements at ground stations to verify entanglement requires highly accurate timing. This is important because entangled photons can be used for quantum key distribution or something called QKD. It enables unbreakable encryption for secure communication. So not only do we know that quantum entangled communication works, we know that we can actually encrypt the communication and it can be decoded at the other end for the proper and approved user. Unlike classical encryption, QKD relies on the laws of quantum mechanics, ensuring that any interception attempts disrupt the system and is immediately detectable. 
This incredible satellite-based entanglement distribution is a key setup towards creating a global quantum communication network. It can also revolutionize fields like cybersecurity, financial transactions, and military communications. We can foresee a future where this could be used in banking transactions, it can be used in uh, entangled or quantum encrypted communications devices, even securing your own logins to accounts on social media and other online businesses. So this is a method that's going to be used in the upcoming future, not only for Earth, but also for long distance space travel. So what do we see for the future in quantum entanglement? It's going to help us scale up satellite based quantum networks that could lead to the development of quantum Internet, connecting quantum computers and devices worldwide to secure instantaneous information exchange. Imagine sending a a message and it be getting delivered instantaneously versus having to be downloaded or wait for the message to propagate through fiber optics at the speed of light. Imagine telecommunications information globally via streaming TV, streaming videos, everything showing up instantaneously with no delay. And a quantum internet could make our current internet look like child's play. Advances in satellite technology could push the boundaries of quantum entanglement experiments even further, potentially exploring the interplay between quantum mechanics and relativity. These quantum networks could also enable decentralized secure cloud computing with real-time data sharing and tamper-proof storage. And this can also transform cybersecurity. Quantum cryptography can ensure the transmission of sensitive data for governments, financial institutions, and private organizations, even against adversaries with quantum computing capabilities. Entangled photons could even allow two parties to authenticate each other's identities without sharing sensitive information. This could bypass the current vulnerabilities of communications and authentication right now that we have on the Internet. This can even aid in the future exploration of space with interstellar probes. We know that space is huge and vast. And one of our biggest problems is traveling those vast distances at less than a percentage of the speed of light. Some places in our some of the destinations that we'd like to go see in our own universe would take thousands, maybe even sometimes millions of years with our current technology. Imagine sending out unmanned interstellar probes. This can create future missions that could use quantum networks for secure communication with probes exploring other star systems. We can send probes to another system like the Sirius system. We can send probes to Orion. We can send probes to the Pleiades. Maybe one day we can even send probes to other galaxies like Andromeda. All getting real-time information back transmitted through the quantum entangled communications network. Instead of waiting years, hundreds of years, thousands of years, millions of years to get the data back, we can get the data back instantaneously via a quantum entangled communications network. What are the economic and strategic impacts with this technology? Countries or organizations that master quantum entanglement via satellites will lead in things like defense, cybersecurity, and AI-driven global industries. And this can open up so many new markets. A quantum internet could open markets for quantum-based technologies, including sensors, cryptography, space travel, computing, and fostering more and more innovation. The possibilities are endless. That's it for today. We'll see you next time on Forbidden Science. Watch this video for free at www.4bk.tv or download the app on your smartphone, Firestick app, Samsung TV, Roku, and other app providers.